Hey everyone, you're listening to InfoQuench with Jeff and Amy, a podcast with tips to make your life easier, covering pop culture, parenting, travel, minimalism, and more. Hey everybody, and welcome to the InfoQuench podcast. I'm Jeff. And I'm Amy. And I have a song for you. I'm going to sing a song. Happy birthday to you. Well, one thing, it was Amy's birthday just a few days ago. And this podcast is about birthdays. It is. I thought you were going to break into happy birthday, Mr. President. I Uh, really wanted to hear your I like your version of of that. that. Why don't you go for that? Not even falling for that one. Too early in the episode for that. Too early? Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> You're, but uh, Jeff's right on. This episode is all about birthday traditions. So I had my birthday recently, and it got me thinking about different ways that people celebrate birthdays. I have a tendency to want to flee you do. To town. And, and that has been a growing <laughs> thing for you. Well, I think I like to do something I enjoy on my birthday. And one of the things that I love to do more than anything is travel. And hang out with your family. And, and spend, yeah, spend some quality time with uh, with you and Hux. So yeah. getting out of town for a few days and just, you know, peace and quiet and uh, a time to reflect on yeah. the year that's passed and the year that's coming. It's uh, You always want to get yourself into that ocean and cleanse away the year before. I really enjoyed that this year. We went to uh, PEI, we went to Cavendish and... I spent a good amount of time on my birthday in the ocean. You did. And it is cleansing. There is something about looking out over the ocean. Some people say it's the closest thing you can do to traveling, but still be standing still. Uh, That's true. I can see that. I know that, I know I was watching you out there and you can tell that you were sort of, you know, you were doing some contemplation and, you know, just uh, really living in the moment. And what better day to do that than on your birthday, correct? Well, yeah. And, you know, when you're in the, it, it's the pull of the ocean, right? The, yeah. It, you kind of, it's so powerful. And it's the push and the pull of the waves. Yeah. But now, if you're pushed and pulled in daily life, that's stress. Yeah. <laughs> but in the ocean, you let go and it's soothing. You did say, too, that after your little uh, excursion into the ocean that you felt a little more cleansed afterwards. I did. You know? I guess both literally and yeah. figuratively. You washed it all away. That salt water is just good yeah. good for everything. And it's beautiful too. Cavendish Beach, if you've never been there before on, on the island, Prince Edward Island, uh, you can walk out for very long, uh, you know, for a long ways and, and the sandbars, it, it only goes up to your ankles. Yeah, usually. and once your body is numb from the cold, you yeah. you can stay in there for you a got, really long time. I think you get used to it pretty pretty quickly. Well, you know, this time of year is actually one of the warmest in terms of sea temperature i think it's up around 21 degrees in Mm -hmm. uh near the end of august so it's yeah there's a a fair amount of people in the the water that day as well so yeah Uh, being in water is very restorative restorative and great for the yeah the human spirit so um so obviously I did a lot of reflection in the water, but I thought about birthday traditions and I, I think we mentioned on a previous episode, but, uh, recently there were posts on Facebook. A few of our friends have posted about setting resolutions on their birthdays oh, yes. rather than on new year's day. Um, if their birthday happened did to be you on do new that year's, year? I guess it would also be a new year's resolution. I'm going to. Oh, so I, are you going to share them with us on this podcast or? Like I don't what? know yet. Oh, okay. You don't, you're not sure to, uh, which resolutions you cho- you chose? That's right. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm still I'm, I'm wondering still if you chose them and then just don't want to share them. And that's okay. Well, no. But if you, yeah. No, I'm trying I'm to curious. think of some like shocking resolution that I could have chosen that I could just now just spit out and yeah. just. Well, I chose know, to take like I'm, six months of the year away from you. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Jeez, that's a cleanse. Give, if I'm gonna I give ever heroin a try this year. I'm give I feel like heroin. you know, the year of forty one. Uh, I'm the ripe old age of forty one now. I figure this is the year I'm gonna try heroin. Yeah, man. Not really, I shouldn't even joke about that. Okay. <laughs> but it got me thinking about birthday traditions. I did some research and uh I started looking at what, you know, some other suggestions for resolutions were or I guess just traditions, unique traditions you can do. And there's a great website called Yes and Yes, because yes is always better than no. That's their motto. It's like it's just a it's a blog, but she one of the articles on it was just talking about some unique things that you can do, and uh, you know, as an adult on your birthday. So one of the suggestions that she had 
was to take the day off and do things that make you happy. Mm. Only do things that are happy things. So if, I guess take the day off if your birthday falls on a work day. What if that's murder and heroin? <laughs> well, <laughs> you're going to have a pretty busy day. Yeah, I know. I know. So will the police. But no, I, I understand where you're coming from. Those oh, no, pleasant we... things that you really enjoy. Like if you enjoy just sitting on the couch eating chocolate bars and drinking coca-cola then go for it right we're not even sponsored by coca-cola i shouldn't even be mentioned i should just say soda until they give us a sponsorship anyway they're horrible they are they're horrible we've company. reached out and read no i'm just kidding we <laughs> wouldn't want a sponsorship from coca-cola um no. i know that's a crazy aside continue on with the birthday stuff <laughs> Okay, so happy boy day. Avoid the Coca Cola on your birthday, but no, she suggested things <laughs> like you know, it, go to the bakery and treat yourself to your you know favorite sweet, or if you enjoy reading, you know, spend some time reading in the park. Yeah. Have lunch with a friend, or you know, book some time in the spa, or yeah. just take anything that makes you happy, whatever that may be. Fill your whole day with things that are just happy things. Makes sense. No chores, no work, yeah. just all about you. Mm-hmm. And this got me got to me uh, to thinking. I remember doing a uh, yoga class when we were in San Juan del Sur in Nicaragua. Mm, in Nicaragua. And uh, my friend Janelle and I went and did this yoga class, and the, it was a focus on joy. And I remember that that was sort of the the intention or the theme that the yoga instructor. Right. And it was the only, uh, you know, it was a. I remember you came back quite exhilarated from that. Yeah. Some, every once in a while, you you know, you do a, a class or you, you speak with somebody and it's just a little bit... It taps you, know, you into a different realm of consciousness. It changes consciousness. you a bit. Yeah. And so her, her focus was on joy. And one of the questions she asked us all was to tell us, you know, to, or think, think to ourselves what gives us pure joy. Pure what, joy. What is something that we do in our lives that gives us pure joy you know you see kids when they are just laughing hysterically from happiness because they're just doing something that they love so much and she's like do more of that whatever that might be yeah um you know if it's riding a bike yeah Uh, so anything that brings you joy about what you know do we really think about what gives us that pure joy not just a sense of accomplishment or or like being with my family right so if you had to say what 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 are those things that bring you that that pure unadulterated joy well i'm not ready to answer that question just yet okay you're holding your cards close to your chest but i'm putting it out there to our listeners okay that makes sense i say that because i i just i mean that it's a difficult question to answer sometimes it is especially when it's just like posed to you just like that i guess i could say being in the ocean gives me pure joy yeah you were you were there for a while and there was a good portion of my life where i just didn't swim Mm -hmm. and i don't know why but being in the water is something that does give me a lot of joy no i have to admit that for myself as well because i i'm just kind of getting the knack of swimming itself like i i can swim to save my life but you taught me how to do what, what was that uh, that swimming stroke that you, you oh the breast taught, stroke the breast stroke right so i mean uh, anyway it's it is it is it there's a freeing there's there's a sense of freedom when you're when you're swimming i don't know why because oh, it's, it's great it's great you know it's great it's for the joints it's just probably the closest we get to being like weightless yes you know except for you know a few of us that get to go to space So the idea around, you know, joy is it's something that you're doing just for yourself. A lot of times we go through life and we're doing things for other people, for, you know, we're our spouse or children, uh, you know. Everybody but ourselves. Exactly. So the idea that at that particular yoga class was to reflect on what gives you pure joy and to do that unapologetically because that's Mm. what life is about. Did you find yourself getting emotional during this class? I did. Yeah, well, that's that's, that's, that's definitely tapping into something then. So that was, I elaborated a little bit more on that one, but I felt that that was a very important one. And I thought, what a great way to spend your birthday doing things that give you pure joy. I agree. Uh, Another suggestion that uh, I found on that particular website was to to journal. Yeah. And often people will say journal, you know, journaling is a great practice to do, you know, spend some time every day doing it, but that's a big commitment. And what I loved about the suggestion on this website is to do it once a year. Oh, just whenever you, whenever it strikes you. So, well, to do it on your birthday, spend a little bit of time, just write down a little bit about, Mm. you know, your accomplishments for, for the past year. Yeah. 
and where you hope to be a year from now. Oh, that's a good idea. And then it the, harkens back to the uh, resolutions, right? You exactly. Know? So you can put it down in a book and then read that journal each year on your birthday and sort of just update it and yeah. have a look and see what, you know, are you at where you thought you would be? And uh, It's always a sobering moment because you can look back and, you know, you, you're not, you didn't keep any of your resolutions or the things that you really wanted to accomplish. But sometimes you surpassed it. So Well, and that's okay, too. I think, you know, part of what she talks about is she said, you know, write down some of the awesome things that you've already accomplished in the past year. You yeah. know, what? Look, just reflect on the year and think about the things that, however big yeah. or small they may be. Maybe you did a professional certification. Maybe you painted a room in your house that you've been wanting to paint. Yeah. Maybe you uh, finished a craft that you were working on. It could be could be really anything, yeah. but just putting it down helps you recognize, you know, the passage of time and also appreciate holds, the year that holds you by. a little accountable too, which is important. Yeah. You know, to be responsible for some of the decisions that you're making in your life. So another piece around that was uh, a suggestion was to write down 25, and I mean that's an arbitrary number, but 25 new things that you would like to try in oh, your yeah. upcoming year. Yeah. So skydiving. Yeah, skydiving would be pretty elaborate. Swimming with the dolphins, <laughs> but all no, those things. It could be anything. It could be try sushi. Yeah. Um, could, yeah. It doesn't have to be get a different kind of coffee. Yeah. It could be that you want to, you know, learn a language, which is quite an endeavor. But it could be just that you want to try reading. I don't know, not more a nonfiction book if that's not something you've done or. It could, it could be just don't step on a single crack in the sidewalk the whole way downtown, you know, in your walk. Why not? There you this go. is the way kids do it. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> you don't want to be breaking your mother's back. <laughs> That's right. So yeah. writing down sort of 25 new things and then and posting it and it just something that you can, you know, yeah. a goals for the, for the year, but You're fun right. things, fun yeah. things that you want to do. Let's do that. Let's make a pact to do that. I'll do it as well. And okay. We'll, we'll look back. We kind of did something similar like when we wrote our letters when we got married. Yes. And then five years later, we opened them up and read them to one another. And it was interesting to see what kind of, you know, dreams and aspirations we had then as to compare it to now. Right. You know, when we opened them rather. So but, the yeah. 25, the 25 things, we'll write them down and maybe we'll do an episode on them mm-hmm. and we'll yeah. share our list. sounds like a good idea. And that'll also keep us a little bit accountable. Do we make the list though on our birthdays? Well, Maybe. we're supposed to, but let's just yeah. do it as like, you know, sometimes September is sort of a nice time for, for renewal anyway. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, back to school season mm-hmm. for kids. And a lot of times we're all just getting into new routines. So mm-hmm. let's do that. Let's make our 25 things to try in the next year. Okay. And uh, one, of the, one of the things that I can think of straight off, I think it would be really <laughs> I fun. I see the wheels are turning already. Uh, it would be really fun to go to like a weekend music festival as a family camp and go to th- and see the music and do all that. I think it would be really fun. So this is just like your wish list of, well, yeah. Isn't this wish list? Isn't it kind of, it a, is, it is, yeah. but it is a, a lot about just, you know, trying. I think new it would things. be fun. We've never done that. And so I think it would be fun to do. All right. Another thing that was suggested on this particular website was to watch the sunrise or the sunset or both on your birthday. Oh. Again, just sort of recognizing the passage of time and considering you're not too inebriated to stay awake for it. Right. Yeah. And if you're really inebriated, you could stay up and watch the sunrise the next day. That's right, the next day. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I I love I love watching a sunrise anyway. I think it's just Oh, it's majestic. It is. No other word for it. And then the last thing from that particular website um, was to get all the free things. So there are always all these free oh, giveaways yes, on your f- birthday. Oh, yes, yes. Um, around here we have a so pizza many place, places. Pomodori Pizza. Pomodori Pizza, yeah. Gives free pizzas on your birthday. Really so good, it's worth, healthy, you know, pizza as well. It's worth doing a, doing a search and yeah. figuring out what freebies you can get and gathering those up. You spend your whole day just yeah. going around town, getting your freebies. Get that free donut, wherever it is, <laughs> whatever, you know, um, it's funny. So other suggestions that I read about was, you know, to kind of take the time, do a weekend getaway with some closest friends on your birthday. Now that uh, I mentioned wanting to sort of always get away on my yeah. birthday and, uh, and I guess it's similar to that. The next two are around children and I found this kind of interesting. Children. Yeah. 
So one woman uh, said she came from a very large family and they had the tradition that it was almost like Thanksgiving, but Mm -hmm. on when any of the children in the family had a birthday, they would go around the table and each person would say why they were thankful for that child being born or that person being born. Oh, interesting. So it's just like a, I guess, the nicest gift you can give, right? An the affirmation, if you will. Yes. Of like, you know, existence. And they had seven kids in the family. So it's getting she pretty said, heavy. Yeah. You know, like philosophically heavy. I'm sure that some of the answers were like, I like, I'm glad you're still here because you share your desserts with me or whatever, you know, like. <laughs> no, I know. But I mean. It could be the most thought that was a nice practice is, for any yeah. family to do right I, I agree I mean, we talk about things at thanksgiving not everybody celebrates thanksgiving but um yeah everybody mm. you know if they do that on their birthdays that'd be a pretty cool thing um another one this is very specific to birthdays that fall around the holidays is to do a birthday tree so a one birthday tree What's one that? woman actually would uh decorate so they have the christmas tree and then mm-hmm. the her daughter's birthday would fall shortly after Christmas. So she'd undecorate the tree the night before her daughter's birthday and redecorate it in a theme for the birthday with the amount of ornaments of her daughter's age. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting and excessive. Excessive. And and it could be a creative endeavor as well because you could, uh, you know, you could make all the ornaments yourself. You kind of have to. That is a lot of work. Yeah. You kind of have to though, really, if they're going to be in a certain theme, you have to like... You know, I don't know. What if like the kids into Pokemon, like our kid is obsessed with and you know, you could do a different Pokemon for, for Pokemon. I have to say it properly or I get chastised. By yes. Because um, I know like when he gets older, he's going to listen to all these podcasts and say, yeah, my parents are pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool, man. Mon. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon. Anyway. Yeah. I, w- I wanted to just say something about uh, birthdays as well. I spent some time in Korea, as you know, as some of the listeners know. Uh, and as soon as someone's born, they're one years old in Korea. The, you know, you're just because you're carried for nine months and then they just rounded it off to one year, I think. And so when you're born, you're one year. So that is your birthday. And then uh, every year after that, well, I'm not sure when this tradition, this particular tradition starts, but... Uh, if you're out, you know, at a restaurant and you have some drinks with a bunch of friends, then whoever's birthday it is, they pay for everybody's meal and everybody's drinks. That's the only time in the whole year that you do that. So other other than that, it's the eldest person at the table pays for everybody's drinks and food, which is insane, insanely expensive, I would imagine. Well, it is, and it's kind of crappy on your birthday. You're going to go broke. Yeah. I you know. probably don't start that at, you like get when the stung. kid's six. So I bet like, you. All right, six, six year old, bring out the piggy bank. Yeah, and ex- for exactly. I, I bet you a lot of people go MIA on their birthdays. Oh, I, I got drunk by myself. How'd that happen? Right. Well, we had a, <laughs> a friend of ours who did a reverse birthday party. Yes, that's right. Yeah, uh, that, that our was fantastic. Our friend Jody fantastic. did that. Yeah, and it Jody. Was, he basically did a surprise party for all of his friends. Yeah. He just told us where to show up. Yeah. And we had no idea what would be in store for us. Um, yeah. Two of them. I think he sent well, it he, twice. He had a couple. Yeah, he did one where they had uh, young actors doing a Shakespeare play. Right. And then and, and then you move to a different section, and there was somebody right. playing guitar up on like an Mike amplified. Mike McDonald, I think. Uh, yeah. And then Clyde Ray did some poetry. At and the then end. there was a film that was uh, that was projected onto one of the big pillars of the Harbor Bridge, and we were all underneath it watching this homemade like local uh, short film. It was really, yeah. really interesting. We live in St. John, New Brunswick, and that's mm-hmm. where our podcast is uh, recorded. And uh, so this is a, was a long uh, little passage, yeah. Harbor Passage, which runs uh, a walkway that runs along our And then Port another City. thing that he did, it was like, it was a complete reverse surprise. So everybody had to show up at a certain spot. And then uh, they nobody had any idea what was going on. And then we were all led, like somebody was at the beginning of the line and we were led to this p- part of the of the downtown core where there was like a, a vacant lot, like, uh, and there was it was yeah. all set up with tables and chairs and an stuff. Outdoor and barbecue. They had an outdoor and barbecue. With a dance party. Yeah, and, it was, uh, it was so cool. Old church. And I tip my hat to you, Jody. Yes, very cool. So I'm glad you mentioned, uh, you know, your time in South Korea because I did do a little bit of research. I was curious about traditions of birthdays around the world. Yeah. 
So I think a lot of us are familiar with piñatas. Yes. And, you know, we even do those with the kids here. I, even though, I know they originated in Mexico, but, yep. uh, you know, something about beating a thing with a stick <laughs> and candy coming out. It's just awesome. It's the candy. But some of the other countries I, uh, I looked up. So one uh, I found was around Vietnam. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned that in, in South Korea, people are one when they're born. Well, in Vietnam, yeah. everybody celebrates their birthday on New Year's Day. And it's actually called um, Ted. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly. T E T. I didn't know this. Um, so, and it's not. So they don't celebrate individually on the day they were born. So they basically do a birthday celebration as an entire nation. Wow, that's insane. So it's one giant party. Yes. With a lot of cake. And children are presented with a red envelope that contains lucky money, which is money from their parents. That's there uh, on the morning of the, of that day. Oh, that's wow. That's their birthday gift. It must be more popular than, than any other holiday, to be honest, because it's one that everyone shares in completely. Well, yeah. And you just kind of, you just do, do away with birthdays. Well, it's regardless of like... not having to plan like, all those kids' birthday parties. You're just like, yeah. all right, everybody, we're getting it all done, all together, all it's, at once. It's in, it's interesting, too, because it does, like, it branches over, like, or it just, like, circumvents any religious affiliation. It doesn't matter, like, who you are or, like, what, like, you know, what religion you have. It's it's everybody's birthday, which right. I find really interesting. Um. Then in Jamaica, or and also in some other parts of the uh, the Caribbean, mm-hmm. or Caribbean. Caribbean, Caribbean. Do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? Depends. I don't know why it depends, but it does. I think I have said both. I tend to uh. say Caribbean if it's an adjective. Like if it's a Caribbean cruise. If I want to say it faster, Caribbean food. But, but if you're singing Billy Ocean's C- Caribbean Queen. Uh. Caribbean Queen. Or is it, is it Caribbean? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even. Going it's to Caribbean try. Queen, I think. But is. I would say I'm going down to the Caribbean. Uh, okay. All right. So in Jamaica and other parts of the uh, Caribbean, yeah. <laughs> regardless of age, what they do, um, the birthday girl or boy is antiqued, and what that means is that they actually douse them with flour. They coat them with flour. <laughs> Friends and family throw flour at them. It can be part of an organized party or they just do it as an ambush. How does it stick to them? Just uh, Well, it just lays on them. Okay. Sometimes they will add the... water oh. if they want to be particularly nasty and right. make sure that it's hard to get off. Um, but yeah, they just that's a tradition. That no they... gifts, just flour? Well, I'm sure they do some gifts and things too. Everybody but, but, gets flour for gifts. But they, yeah, they douse them in flour and they call it antiquing or antiqued. So it gives you that old I wonder look, where right? Because the... you know, they, oh, you know if okay. you were in theater or something like that, uh, they, would yes. put, they might put flour in your hair mm-hmm. or to make you look like you're older. So I see. And it's also considered bad luck there to marry someone on your, on, on your birthday. Bad I luck. Know, I do know somebody who got married on their, on the groom's birthday. And they said they did that because they never wanted him to forget their wedding anniversary. Was it good luck or bad luck? No, they're still married. Oh, well, then it's probably good luck, I guess. I'd have to ask them if it's good luck or bad luck. Unless he's trapped. (laughs) Switzerland. (laughs) Okay, this one I had to look up in a few places because I was like, this does not even sound real. Really? It's becoming a common practice in, in the city of Lucerne in Switzerland. Parents hire this man. And there's several newspaper articles about him, but his name is Dominic DeVille, and he's the evil birthday clown. So they hire him, and what he does is he basically terrorizes the kids (laughs) by making prank phone calls and sending notes to them saying that they're going to be attacked the whole week prior to their birthday. Not all heroes wear capes. Sometimes they have a red nose. And then on their birthday, he... Sneaks up on them and smashes a cake in their face when they least expect it. And apparently the kids love it. They love being scared senseless, not knowing when the evil clown is going to appear with the cake. Wow. And he, he he's very clear to say that it's all fun, that if at any point the kids get too scared, the parents can, pull, you know, can, uh, can tell turn. them to go home. Yes. But this is what he does. <laughs> this is how this man makes a living. He's the evil birthday. He's probably clown. a millionaire. 
and has probably had an interesting uh, history with kids. I'm thinking. I wonder if this. <laughs> like, who who comes up with that as a business idea? Like, Stephen you're just King. at home sitting. <laughs> it reminds me of it. Sitting around, and you're like, ah, I know what I should do. I just I scare the crap out of kids, and get paid for it. I just sounds good even, to me. Couldn't even believe it. So, but wow. I did. I did. There were several articles about this. <laughs> But this what if there's man. videos? I want to see some videos. Oh yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll find a picture of yeah. this scary clown and post it on our Instagram account. So you'll have to check our Instagram to see that. And we should say to our listeners, if you have any, uh, you know, birthday traditions that you know of that we didn't mention on the podcast today, definitely get a hold of us. Any any you can do it anyway. Period. Yeah, really. except for carrier pigeons because yeah, they're, or smoke seagulls. Yeah, yeah. Um, in Venezuela. They like to smash people's face into the cake as they're blowing out the candles. In Venezuela, they do Yes. That. They feel it symbolizes love, laughter, and luck for the coming year. I don't know about luck, but love and laughter, yeah. And of course, the article was on that was very specific to say, make sure that the candles are off, <laughs> blown out, <laughs> off. and positioned to Turn ensure safety. I was thinking, I could picture someone <laughs> in, like a candle oh, going yeah. into their eye. And then yeah. they're like, you know, impaled. On I never their understood cake. the the smashed cake. Well, there's thing. also the wedding cake, the wed- right? Yeah, we I just do don't... that, and then we we create smash cakes for toddlers, That's so true. that they can just, or I guess for the first birthday, I think we just do it on the first birthday. They smash the cake. Yeah, that's right. So I don't know. I guess we just love. We smashing even did stuff. that. We even did that, didn't we? I... We we let Huxley oh, go, yeah. go to town. And... We did. We got pictures. Yeah. Um, huh. Ireland. Uh, they hold people, the birthday person, upside down and bump their head on the floor. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Once for each year they were born and an extra for good luck. Um, like softly, I'm sure. So, I'm sure softly. Not gonna, giving and, them concussions for their birthday. But you know, this isn't far, apparently in You get a Scotland, concussion and you get a concussion. <laughs> it's horrible, horrible. <laughs> apparently they, um, they actually kick people in the butt in India and in Scotland they smack them on the back. I, well, you've heard of birthday spankings. Yes. So I guess so it's, it's just you know, different uh, cultures doing that exact we same We just thing. like to hit the birthday. Where did that girl. come from? Birthday spankings. I don't. One know. for each year. Um, in Hungary, they like to tug on people's earlobes while singing a song that says, <laughs> when translated, <laughs> because it's in Hungarian. <laughs> what is it? God bless you. May you live so live long, so your ears reach your ankles. <laughs> they sing this song to you while tugging on your earlobes. Uh, I find that kind of endearing, to be honest. And in I Argentina, really nice. they also pull the kids' ears, and they just pull them <laughs> as many times as for each year so they're what alive. So what do we do? We just sing a stupid song that has been like under copyright for the longest time and recently it isn't, so now we can hear well, it on we, TV. I mean, we do the, you know, I don't know. We're a little lame. In Holland, they have special crown years. So, you know, Sweet Sixing, Sweet Sixteen is big here. Right. right? And really big, in, I know, down in the States. But they have um, crown years that they consider special years when they turn 5, 10, 15, 20, and 21. And they yes. give big gifts and are treated with lemonade and hot chocolate. Wow. Lemonade and hot chocolate. I know. That's like summer and winter. In Germany, they don't have the kids don't have to do any homework or chores. But this is great. <laughs> they get long, eaten by an evil clown. No, though? there's a long-standing tradition that if you're a single man and you turn thirty in Germany, that you have to sweep the front steps of the town hall or a church. And the idea is that you're supposed to be demonstrating how you can keep a house clean and tidy for oh potential my partners. Goodness. And I need a video of that one tradition too. Tradition dictates you can't leave until you're kissed by a lady. And to top it off, your friends often will throw garbage at you. <laughs> oh, need video, need <laughs> and, video. And try, that you have to sweep up in, until the kiss comes along. Oh. Um, I read about one in Canada, which I've never heard about, but it's supposed to be in parts of Atlantic Canada about greasing the nose. So people get either butter or some other greasy substance smeared on their nose, usually by a sibling sneaking Why? up on them. Oh, okay. It's supposed to make it so you're too slippery for any negativity or bad luck to hold oh on to you goodness. in the upcoming year. Norwegians like chocolate cake on their birthdays. Australians like what's called fairy bread, which is buttered bread with sprinkles. Oh, wow. Russians, Russians like to hang the gifts up on clotheslines for the kids. Well, whatever it is, whatever you do for your birthday, we hope you have a good birthday. <laughs> and listen 
to our podcast on your birthday. Make that a thing. Yeah, you know? that's a great that's a yeah. great tradition. Thanks and for listening. Why don't you listen to it every single week? Because we'll be here <laughs> waiting for you to tune in. Not just your birthday. See you. See everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Be sure to visit InfoQuench.com to subscribe and catch up on past episodes. You can also check out InfoQuench on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Till next time. time.